Hey everybody, so today I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to show you how you can muscle test and realign your hips at home. It's so easy to do, it's almost a crime not to show you how. All you need to know is how to muscle test. Now I've shown people how to do that in another video. I will post a link to that video underneath this one. Um, and then you just need something that has about four inches in diameter. Um, I use blocks that look like this. This is just a four by four post, um, eight inches in length and then cut diagonally. You can also use things like a big soup can, um, those work just as well, or even a shoe with a sock stuffed in the ankle part and wedge that underneath your hip. I'm gonna show you exactly how to muscle test them and I'm gonna show you where to place the wedge or the block or the soup can, whatever it is you choose to use. Hip alignment is so important in my practice, okay? So if you're a mom and you've had a baby, um, your pelvic floor and your hips have taken quite the beating, okay? Um, so you're gonna wanna pay attention and you're gonna wanna take care of this. Now, if you tend to do a lot of sitting throughout the day, um, long driving, or you're a gym buff and you just like to hit the gym, you're also gonna wanna pay attention to this, okay? Um, when our hips start to get misaligned, we tend to experience low back issues, okay, so sciatic nerve pain, um, lumbar soreness, and then depending if the hip placement goes posterior or anterior, the thigh bone will actually start to turn in or turn out causing issues with the knee and all the way down through the feet, okay. So I have Jen here with me today. She's going to just turn around. Yeah, so this way here, honey. There we go. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to start with your pointer finger. We call this the pull finger. And you're going to start off by testing for a pelvic indicator one. So you actually want to go three inches in from the top hip bone, three inches in from the sacrum. So roughly about here, I tell people to find their dimples in their back. You're going to then muscle test. Um, I like to use the deltoid. Okay? If that is weak, you need to stop, okay? That's the one that's a problem. You are officially a pelvic indicator one, hip misalignment. If it's strong, you're gonna go to the other side and muscle test that, okay? If that's weak, you stop. That's the problem. And I'll show you guys where to put the block in a second here. Now, if both of those are strong, you move on to what's called a pelvic indicator two, okay? So for this one, you're going to use one pull finger and one push finger, okay? So I usually start with the right side as the pull finger, this side as the push finger, okay? Muscle test that. Now if it's weak, you stop there, that's the problem. If it's strong, you're going to switch. So this will become your push finger, this one will become your pull finger. Now once you have it figured out, this is what you need to do. If you're a pelvic indicator one on either side, you need to place the wedge at the top hip bone Okay, and lie down for 10 minutes on a flat, firm surface. That's usually enough time to get the, uh, the hip to gently um, realign. If you're a pelvic indicator two, depending on which side, okay, so if you're, it's the pull finger side, the block or the wedge or the soup can, whatever, goes at the top hip. If it's the push finger, the, the wedge goes on the bottom hip where the leg bends. Um, on the other side, okay? So just to remember, and this is easy to do, this is what I teach my students, pull finger, so this hip needs to come back, push finger, this one needs to go away, come here, go away, okay? Easy enough. Talk to you guys soon, thank you, bye.